see to it, you. Upon my oath, I swear as Zeus is my God above. Either you find the perpetrator of this burial and bring him here into my sight or death. No. Not your mere death shall pay the reckoning, but as a living lesson against such infamy, you shall be racked and tortured till you told the whole truth of this outrage. So you may learn to seek your gain where gain is yours to get, not try to grasp it everywhere. Wickedness you'll find more lost than profit. May I say more? No. More? Each word you say but stings me more. Stings in your ears, sir, or in your deeper feelings? Don't bandy words, fellow, about my feelings. Though I offend your ear, sir, it is not I, but he that's guilty that offends your soul. Born to argue. Maybe so, but still not guilty in this business. Doubly so, if you have sold your soul for money. To think that thinking men should think so wrongly. Think what you will, but if you fail to find the doer of this deed, you'll learn one thing. Ill-gotten gain brings no one any good. Well, heaven send thee find him. But whether or no, they'll not find me again, that's sure. Once free, who never thought to see another day, I'll thank my lucky stars and keep away. Wonders from any on earth, and the greatest of these is man, who rides the ocean and takes his way, through the deeps, through windswept valleys of perilous seas, that surge and sway. His master of angels was earth, to his own will bending, the immortal mother of gods. By the sweat of his brow, as year succeeds to year, with toil and ending of mule and plow. He is Lord of all things living, birds of the air, beasts of the field, all creatures of sea and land he taketh, coming to capture and ensnare with sleight of hand. Hunting the savage beasts from the upland rocks, taming the mountain monarch in his lair, teaching the wild horse and the roaming ox his yoke to bear. The use of language, the windswept motion of brain he learned. Found out the laws of living together in cities. Building him shelter against the rain and wintry weather. There is nothing beyond his power. His subtlety meeteth all chance. All danger conquereth. For every ill he hath found its remedy, save only death. A wondrous subtlety of man that draws to good or evil ways. Great honor is given, and power to him who upholds his country's laws and the justice of heaven. But he, that, that too rashly daring, walks in sin, in solitary cries to his life's end, and a door of mine shall never enter in to call me friend. O oh God, a oh wonder to see, surely it cannot be, it is no other. Antigone, unhappy maid, unhappy Oedipus' daughter, it is she they bring. Can she have rashly disobeyed? The order of our king?